Welcome to Electron Line. Let's take another look at the thick lens and seeing how the rays travel through the lens and relating that to the focal length, the object distance, the image distance. And notice here we have S sub O as the object distance, S sub I as the image distance, and then the distances from the object to the focal point called X sub O for the object distance. And remember, that's the object distance from the object to the focal point, not to the principal plane. And over here, notice we have X sub I, which is a distance from the image to the focal point. There's an interesting relationship between these two distances and the focal length of the lens. It turns out that Newton discovered, through some work, through some geometry here, that the product of X sub O times X sub I, this distance, times this distance, equals F squared, the effective focal length squared. Wow, how did he do that? Well, in the next video, we're going to show you how that was done graphically, so you can get a good feel for it. But here we're going to do it using this lens equation, 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. Of course, we can solve this for F and make it look like that. Looking at this, we can realize that the object distance, S sub O, is simply the sum of the focal length plus X sub O. And we can see that the image distance, S sub I, is equal to the focal length plus X sub I. If we plug these two values in for the object distance and the image distance in our equation over here, we get the following equation. F is equal to the object distance, which is F plus X sub O, multiplied times S sub I, which is F plus X sub I, all divided by S sub O, which is F plus X sub O, plus, that would be F plus X sub I. All right, if we now solve that for F squared, and that's what it will be, we should be able to get the very same equation. Let's see if that works. First of all, we're going to rewrite this as, when we multiply the, the top, we get F squared plus F X sub O, plus F X sub I, plus the product of X sub O plus, oh, the product, X sub O times X sub I. And in the denominator, if we combine these, we get 2F plus X sub O plus X sub I. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. We multiply the denominator times F and set it equal to the numerator. So coming over here, that ends up being F times, well, I can just do it in one step. I'm simply going to multiply f times this. That'll give us, on the left side, 2f squared plus fx sub o plus fx sub i, which means f times this denominator. That's it equal to the numerator. So that it equals f squared plus fx sub o plus fx sub i and plus the product of x sub o times x sub i. All right, now when you look at both sides, realizing both sides has an f times x sub o, so that cancels out, and both sides have an x, f times x sub i, that cancels out as well. And then if I subtract an f squared from both sides, then I get on the left side, f squared equals on the right side, x sub o times x sub i. So you can see, indeed, using that lens equation there, we can find that the focal length squared equals the distance from the object to the focal point times the distance from the image to the focal point, and that's known as Newton's lens equation. Quite interesting, and there again, looking at that, and maybe one more thing I wanted to point out. Notice when I drew the rays that the top ray traveled all the way to the second principal plane, and then through the focal point over here. The first ray here traveled to the first principal focal plane and then onto the image that way. So notice this is how we can approximate what actually happens through the lens when we realize, of course, that actually the ray bends on the first boundary and bends again on the second boundary, but that can be approximated by drawing it like this and by drawing it like that. And that's how we deal with Newton's lens equation, and we can see how that's derived from our original lens equation that we saw in the previous videos, and that's how it's done.